join us. It is day two of Dixie's two-week board and train. Today we're continuing with her follow command, her informal loose leash walking command. Then she's going to do some recall, some plays, sit and wait, and break. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm looking for are the, the three things, visually checking in, nice loose leash with some good slack in it, and turning when I turn. And here we go. Okay, so we're continuing to work on our uh, sit and wait command, which was introduced yesterday. So here we go. Wait. And with distraction, which is the leash. So we're going to be working on distractions throughout the whole two weeks. And that was an introduction with the waving of the leash. So I know there's some work to go there. Wait. Good job. Good. Hey, 
So during training, there is also desensitization going on, uh, my fast movement, uh, the dis any distraction I introduce, such as waving up the leash. If she hears a car go by on the street, we're working on whatever command at that point to work her through that. Uh, again, the focus is to take her mind off of the traffic, noises, objects, things that she's fearful of, and transfer that focus onto come sit place. Wait. Sit. Wait. Dixie come. Place command. Place is a boundary training command. Whatever the object is defines the boundary. In this particular case, it is this board. It can be a park bench, it can be a dog bed, it doesn't matter. The dog realizes with the place command not to leave the boundary, so a weight command is not necessary. Our two size boards that I'm using for Dixie, this is to help her overcome at least some of her fear of objects. The skills for learning the place command get transferred back into the home environment. Within the home environment, most people have a dog bed or a mat or some other object besides this board. Dixie, come. Dixie, place. Dixie, come. Dixie, place. Okay, so there's hear the car noise. Dixie, place. Okay, so I prompted her to complete the command. Only two feet were on the board, not all four. So with the place command, that was a perfect example of how to override a noise in this particular case to get the command completed. In other words, we refocused her from the traffic to the board. Dixie, come. Dixie, follow. Good girl. Good job. Dixie, sit. Dixie, follow. Good girl, Dixie. Good job. Dixie, sit. Dixie, follow. Dixie, come. Dixie, sit. Wait. Dixie, come. Good girl. 
Dixie Place. Dixie Place. Dixie Brick. Brick. <laughs> Good girl, Dixie. Okay, so now we're going to the toy closet to see what we've got. Let's see what we got. Toy closet to see if there's something that she might like. Try that. She hears um, the noises of my dogs walking upstairs. Okay, let's try. This might be scary, but let's try it. She opened her mouth to try to pick it up. Let's see what else we have. No, because it was too noisy.
lots of licking of the floor, just a nervous habit. Problem with fearful dogs is not getting them to do the place sit and come. The problem lies in trying to get through the fearful components. Really awesome if she could have this wonderful presentation while she's doing her commands, her calm, her sit, her place, tail up, ears up, just a happy, happy girl. Uh, her fearfulness gets in the way of, of getting there to that happiness piece.